Yo, I am Dr. Cool. Nigeria stands at a crossroads. A technological revolution is upon us, one that promises to reshape the world as we know it. For some, it heralds an era of unprecedented progress and prosperity. But for Nigeria, a nation heavily reliant on its oil reserves, it threatens to unleash an economic earthquake of unprecedented scale. The ground beneath our feet is shifting and the familiar rhythms of our oil-dependent economy are faltering. The world is pivoting towards a future powered by clean self-sustaining energy, leaving Nigeria's oil wealth at risk of becoming a relic of the past. The future is here, and it demands that we adapt or face the consequences. Our dependence on oil has lulled us into a false sense of security. We've grown accustomed to the flow of petrodollars, neglecting the urgent need to diversify our economy and invest in other sectors. Now, as the world embraces new energy sources, we must confront the stark reality of our vulnerability. This is not a time for denial or complacency. We must recognize the magnitude of the challenge before us and summon the collective will to navigate this treacherous new landscape. The choices we make today will determine the fate of our nation for generations to come. To understand the gravity of the situation, we must first acknowledge the precarious foundation upon which our economy rests. Oil, the lifeblood of our nation, is a finite resource and its value is inexorably tied to the whims of the global market. For decades, Nigeria has relied heavily on oil exports, neglecting other sectors such as agriculture, manufacturing and technology. This over-reliance on a single commodity has left us exposed and vulnerable to external shocks. The global demand for oil is dwindling as nations transition towards cleaner, more sustainable alternatives. The price of oil is plummeting, eroding our export earnings and depleting our foreign reserves. The once mighty petrodollar, the engine of our economy, is sputtering. This is not merely an economic crisis, it is an existential threat. Our dependence on oil has left us ill-prepared for the new energy landscape. The time for complacency is over. We must act decisively to avert disaster. At the heart of this impending crisis lies a technological innovation poised to redefine our world's self-powered technology. This groundbreaking invention, conceived by a brilliant self-taught engineer, has the potential to render fossil fuels obsolete, forever altering the global energy landscape. Imagine a world where homes and businesses generate their own clean, limitless power, free from the constraints of power grids and fossil fuel dependence. This is the promise of self-powered technology, a vision of a future where energy is abundant, affordable and accessible to all. While this technology holds immense promise for a brighter future for Nigeria, it represents an unprecedented challenge. Our reliance on oil exports makes us particularly vulnerable to this disruption as the demand for our primary source of revenue evaporates. The ground is shifting beneath our feet and the tremors are being felt across all sectors of our economy. The time for denial is over. We must face this new reality head on and chart a new course for our nation. The consequences of clinging to our outdated oil-dependent model are dire. If we fail to adapt, we risk plunging our nation into an abyss of economic despair, social unrest and political instability. Imagine a Nigeria where unemployment skyrockets as the oil industry collapses, leaving millions of skilled workers jobless and desperate. Imagine a Nigeria where the value of the Naira plummets, making basic necessities unaffordable for the average citizen. Imagine a Nigeria where once bustling cities are plunged into darkness as power grids collapse, unable to cope with the dwindling supply of fossil fuels. Imagine a Nigeria where foreign investors flee, seeking more stable and innovative economies elsewhere. This is not a future we can afford to bequeath to our children. We must act now with courage and conviction to avert this impending disaster. Section 5. The spectre of unemployment, idle hands, troubled minds. The collapse of the oil industry, inevitable in the face of self-powered technology, will trigger a wave of unemployment the likes of which our nation has never seen. Millions of jobs directly and indirectly tied to the oil sector will vanish, leaving a trail of shattered livelihoods and broken dreams. Imagine the plight of the oil worker, his skills rendered obsolete, his livelihood snatched away. Imagine the graduate, armed with an oil and gas degree, staring into a future devoid of opportunity. Imagine the entrepreneur, his business dependent on a thriving oil industry, forced to shut down, his dreams dashed against the rocks of technological disruption. Unemployment breeds despair, and despair can ferment into social unrest. Idle hands, they say, are the devil's workshop. We cannot afford to have millions of our citizens, particularly our youth, languishing in unemployment, their potential wasted, their frustrations mounting. We must create new pathways to prosperity, new avenues for employment, and new opportunities for our people to thrive in this rapidly changing world. 
Section 6, the Naira's fall, a currency in freefall. As the global demand for oil plummets, so too will the value of the Naira. Our currency, intrinsically linked to the fortunes of the oil industry, will enter a freefall, its purchasing power eroded with each passing day. Imagine a Nigeria where the cost of imported goods skyrockets, making essential commodities like food, medicine and fuel unaffordable for the average citizen. Imagine a Nigeria where businesses struggle to import raw materials, crippling local production and further fueling inflation. Imagine a Nigeria where savings are wiped out as the value of the Naira collapses, plunging millions into poverty and despair. The economic hardship will be unbearable, pushing our already fragile social fabric to the brink. We must act swiftly to stabilize our currency, diversify our economy and reduce our reliance on imports. We must create a more resilient and self-reliant economy capable of weathering the storms of the global market. On Section 7. Beyond the Rubble. A glimmer of hope in industrialization. Despite the daunting challenges ahead, there is hope. We are not without options, and our destiny is not predetermined. We have the power to chart a new course, one that leads to a brighter and more prosperous future for all Nigerians. The key to our survival lies in embracing industrialization. We must move beyond our dependence on raw material extraction and embrace value addition. We must transform from a nation of consumers to a nation of producers. We have an abundance of untapped resources, fertile land, vast mineral deposits, and a youthful, energetic population. We must harness these resources to build a diversified and resilient economy capable of competing in the global marketplace. We must invest in education, equipping our youth with the skills and knowledge necessary to thrive in the 21st century economy. We must foster innovation, encouraging entrepreneurship and creating an environment where businesses can flourish. Section 8. A Call to Action. Nigeria's Defining Moment. This is a defining moment in our nation's history. The choices we make today will determine whether we sink or swim in the face of this technological tsunami. We can choose to cling to the past, to deny the inevitable and face the consequences of our inaction. Or we can choose to embrace the future, to adapt and evolve and emerge stronger and more resilient than ever before. This is not a task for the faint of heart. It requires courage, vision and an unwavering commitment to the well-being of our nation. We must put aside our differences, transcend the divisions that have long plagued our nation and unite behind a common purpose. The pursuit of a brighter future for all Nigerians. We must demand accountability from our leaders, holding them responsible for making the tough decisions necessary to navigate this challenging landscape. We must demand transparency, ensuring that the resources of our nation are used judiciously and for the benefit of all. This is our moment, our chance to redefine our destiny. Let us seize it with both hands. Section 9. Charting a new course, embracing change, securing the future. The path forward is clear. We must embrace self-powered technology, not resist it. We must integrate this innovation into our energy grid, providing affordable and sustainable power to our citizens and businesses. This will not only address our looming energy crisis, but also attract foreign investment and fuel economic growth. We must diversify our economy, shifting away from our over-reliance on oil. We must invest in agriculture, manufacturing, technology, and other sectors with the potential to create jobs and generate wealth. We must invest in our people, particularly our youth, providing them with the education, skills and opportunities they need to thrive in the new economy. We must empower them to become the innovators, entrepreneurs and leaders of tomorrow. The road ahead will be challenging, but we are a resilient people, tempered by adversity. We have overcome countless obstacles in our history, and we shall overcome this one too. Let us embrace the future with open arms, confident that we can navigate the challenges ahead and build a brighter future for ourselves and generations to come. Share this video and ensure it reaches Nigerian politicians. A stitch in time, save time. Now, if you will excuse me, I have a flight to catch.